With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is assertion. Average velocity can be zero, but average speed of a moving body cannot be zero in any finite time interval. Reason for a moving body, displacement can be zero, but distance can never be zero. Option one: If both assertion and reason are true, reason is correct explanation of assertion. Then mark one. Option two: If both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion, then mark two. Option three: If assertion is true, reason is false, then mark three. Option four: If both assertion and reason are false, then mark four. All right. So it says that average velocity can be zero. That is true. Why? Because displacement is a vector quantity and it can be zero. And now average velocity is total displacement upon total time. So if displacement is zero, velocity is zero. All right. Why? Because displacement is vector quantity. It can be zero for a moving body. and average velocity is total displacement upon total time so average velocity can be zero but at the same time distance is a scalar quantity and average speed is total distance upon total time so it cannot be zero assertion is true for a moving body displacement can be zero but distance can never be zero why because distance is scalar quantity so assertion is true reason is true and reason is reason is the correct explanation of assertion so option 1 is the correct answer that's all thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today